Chapter 46 Dragon Slayers in Orga Village From the second floor of the Lord's house I took till with me, spread out the letter, and read it out. There were not only Espada and D, but also the villagers, but also the Ortos and Bal, Arte and Panameras soldiers. A little over two hundred people, but don't feel more when you actually see them. Oh, the subjugation of the Green Forest Dragon, also known as the Lord of the Forest. We commend those who have done the most important work in the subjugation. The commendation will be given by the Baronet Panamila Carrera Cain, the head of the Baronetcy of Cain. The ceremony was held in an informal manner, but the atmosphere of the ceremony changed when Panamera dashingly appeared from the second floor of the Lord's house. Seeing the nervousness on the faces of the villagers, Van, the Lord, made me think about my dignity. Panamera looked at everyone's faces slowly and spoke solemnly. The Green Forest Ryu, who was killed by everyone here this time, is usually mobilized by court magicians along with the knights' villages and small towns will definitely be destroyed, and nearby fortified cities will suffer considerable damage. Then the villagers made a fuss. But this little village survived. In addition, there were no casualties, and only part of the wall under construction and two baristas were damaged. This is an incredible feat. The villagers exclaim at Panamera's words, I understand how you feel, but be quiet now. Panamera relaxes her expression slightly at everyone's reaction and opens her mouth. I call the names of those who have contributed greatly to this feat first, D, Vice Chief of the Knights of the Marquis Felcio, that he cut off the head of a green forest dragon over 15 meters with a single blow, and the result of this battle was decisive, therefore, the first contribution is to Vice Chief D. The village cheers at these words, Panamera waits for the cheers to stop and opens her mouth again. Next, Espada, a rare four-element sorcerer, his magic skills, which had twice escaped the predicament and blocked the dragon's movements, were beyond description, therefore, the second achievement is Espera. This remark exclaims admiration in the village, duh, I wonder if that's the case, well, it's hard to tell the villagers how amazing a magician is. Finally, Panamera glanced at me and opened her mouth. Finally, the fourth son of the Marquis Felcio, Van Nefeltio. In addition to knowledge, energy, and tact that are unlikely to be eight years old, the village's defense capabilities were greatly strengthened in a short period of time by using magic that was unprecedented in the past. His achievements were also an important part of the conquest of Green Forest Ryu, and he led the battle as a lord, therefore. The third achievement is Van Nefeltio. The moment Panamera said so, there was a loud cry of anger. There was a voice calling my name, and I waved my hand back and forth, with my eyes wide open. As a result, idols also cheered in a blue voice. Hey, it's your idol, Van, shake hands with one silver coin. That's how the ceremony ended successfully. After that, a large material peeling festival was held, and this time the material was recovered with tremendous force because it was accompanied by 100 strong soldiers below the Viscount Panamera. Hey! What's this sword? Are these all made by a boy? Panamera, who cut off the dragon's tusks, screams as she looks back. It's a sword that specializes in sharpness for peeling off ingredients, well, it's something that can stand practical use. I gave it to all the soldiers, and there were more than a hundred. Isn't it a special sword? I'll make a sword out of five gold coins. And Panamila looked at me with incredible eyes. In just two days, the material was finished peeling off, and the material warehouse was no longer allowed to enter. So, behind the new wall, he built a huge warehouse with a cellar. With this one, you can keep two or three dragons. Most of the walls are completed, so the rest are barista and bridge. Bell's eyes were marked dollar all the time while the dragon material was peeled off, but it finally calmed down and resumed operations. However, when Bell finally found out that his brother Lango had returned to the village, Bell's eyes were again marked with dollar. Well, I know because I have a lot of things I want to sell and things I want to buy. I was curious about how large Lango had returned, and I ran with Bell towards the wall. 
By the way, as soon as Lango reached the village, he was taken aback by the sudden construction of the wall. He asked the chairman of the merchant company to lead the caravan back to the village on the condition that he would compensate for the deficit, but he didn't think a huge wall had been built in a few weeks. When I went to Lango, I was more surprised this time. The caravan was a large family of five large wagons, three medium-sized wagons, and twenty bodyguards adventurers to I. In addition, there were five merchants, including Lango, who followed him. Also, it seems that a large family of five slave helpers was established. Oh, brother. What's this? Before I knew it, such a great wall. Lango noticed Bell and asked him so loudly, but Bell put his hands on Lango's shoulders and spoke expressionlessly. This wall is impossible, but there is still a great deal of trouble. Well, still a big deal. He looked away from the lango, which wrinkled between his eyebrows, and Bell looked at him. May I show you to the new warehouse? All right. With a brief reply, Bell led Lango to the warehouse. The caravan that Lango brought with him also moves through the walls and follows them. Adventurers and other merchants bowed and greeted and passed by. After a while, a voice of astonishment was heard in the new warehouse. What, what, the dragon? At the sound of the lango, the caravan merchants and adventurers disappeared all at once into the warehouse. Then there is another scream. Maybe it's because there are a lot of people next time, there was a loud scream as if we had reached a climax on a packed roller coaster. I wonder how much it will cost muttered Bell, raising and breaking his fingers with a wicked smile. The dragon on Earth.it was also a large green forest dragon, which was obtained almost unscathed with scales, claws, tusks, eyes, and magical stones, probably a hundred platinum coins, from there it will be auctioned in the royal capital, and at least 150 platinum coins. If gold is 1 million, and large gold is 10 million, is platinum 100 million? Then, is the dragon 10 billion yen? What is that jumbo lottery? What's the auction after that? Well, jumbo? When I asked, Bell asked me back. Auction? On second hearing, Bell regained his composure and pasted a smile on his face. It's an auction held in the royal capital. Merchants who are members of the Merchant Guild can participate. Whenever a national treasure comes out, it is put up for auction. The material of that green forest dragon must be over 150 pieces of platinum. I see. So what's the profit for Bell and Lango if you take the transportation cost, the auction fee, and the profit for the business? Bell rolled his eyes at my lines. I thought Mr. Vand was not a child, but I was made to reconfirm. Some of the foolish sons of those aristocrats would have said that I had repelled a large sum of fifty platinum coins. Netly, is our profit three to five platinum coins? Still, it's a huge profit equivalent to risking your life. Bell smiles happily, and I cross my arms and twist my neck. I wish I could make a business. I guess it difficult to make a business? And his eyes were wide open and hardened round. 